Okay guys, today is the third lesson in our traditional puppy training. Uh, it's going to be a simple lesson. We're going to work on jump, and we're going to work on stay, and we're going to work on loading in the truck. Okay, so these are real life things that you need to, you need to get mastered right off the bat with your puppy. I got me a crate half here, because remember, I kind of like to work using elevated surfaces. They, they come in handy for lots of things. Main thing, I don't have to bend over all day, every day. All right, I got a little slip lead here. Got it from Jeffers.com, it's really neat. Got a piece of leather on it that makes it easy to cinch up. I got a willing puffy, okay? And I got a piece of rope stuck, stuff in, stuffed in my jacket here, and that's gonna be her reward. So this whole series is premised on the dog doing a little work to get to a little bit of play, okay? So the work today is gonna be hopping up on this crate half, staying where I put her, and then gradually we're gonna work uh, towards loading all the way into the truck. So I'm gonna take my crate half, and turn it over. Ask a dog to get up here. Come on, puppy. Come on, up, up, up. So I gotta talk to her a little bit excitedly. Okay, so I show her this tug so she knows it's there. Then I show her this leash. Now, if you're doing your job right by the time, now this puppy's 12 weeks old. So by the time the puppy's about 12 weeks old or so, they should start to get excited when you get your leash out. Okay, because they know that the leash leads to work. Which you're gonna think, well, why would they be excited about working? Well, they're excited about working because they know that working leads to playing. Okay, so now I'm going to work on staying, so listen to my voice change a little bit. Okay, I want her to be calm and I want her to be focused, so I'm going to kind of change the, the, the cadence and the, and the tone of my voice, get a little lower here, and I'm going to say stay, and I'm going to walk away, and whenever she goes to move, which they will at some sometimes, oh, up, up, I'm just going to put her back up here, turn her around, <laughs> Ask her to stay, put a little tension on that leash, and then I'm going to walk away. Now, every so often I might walk back up here and stroke her, but not too much, because I need her to understand right from the beginning that when I have her staying, that, you know, I'm busy. Uh, you know, if I have time, if I have to tell that dog to stay somewhere, it means I'm busy. I'm doing something where I can't watch her, and I need to know she's in one spot. Okay, so I don't sit here and stare at them, and I don't repeat myself when I'm working on stay. I tell them stay, and then I change my posture so that I'm kind of looking away, and whenever they go to get up, I put a little tension on that leash, and I come right back, and I'll say something like, whoa, or wait, or easy, or if they go to, you know, rapidly jump off the crate, you might hear me talk to them a little bit even more sharply. But most of the time when you're practicing stay, see this leash? Yeah, it's got this loop in it, shouldn't be any tension. Now, she goes to get up when she's not supposed to, I'm all of a sudden going to put tension in that leash, and I'm going to pull on it, and I'm going to block her out with my body, and I'm going to make her, make her want to sit down. Okay, now after she's waited over here for a little while, then all of a sudden my, my voice is going to change, I'm going to get real excited, I'm going to release her, and then I'm going to let her play tug. Okay, oh, good girl, good girl. So again, ah, good girl, ah, good girl. So again, what's happened here is she did some work. She stayed on that crate. Oh, good girl. And now she's getting to do some play. Ah, and if you raise them so that they always understand that the work leads to the play, it just, it, it, it goes so fast. It's so easy to do. You really have a good time training. The dog, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't only not mind working. It actively looks to work. It gets up every day and says, hey, Stoney, what kind of work do you have for me to do today? Because I want to play tug. I want to go down to the river with the labs. I want to have a good time. And I say, well, I got some work for you. Coming, being still, having good manners, and biting somebody if they need biting. And that's about all we got. Okay, so now we're going to move on, and we're going to add some more... Uh, we're going to add some more pieces here, and we're going to do some progressive jumping until we can get all the way in the truck. Okay, guys, now that we got basic jumping and basic staying out of the way, we're going to progress. You know, my, all my stuff is predicated on this idea of small challenges. Every day we increase the level of challenge because as the challenge becomes harder, the dog finds it more rewarding to conquer. So, uh, you know, we got my little crate half earlier, so we're going to take the crate half. And we're going to put a medium-sized crate in front of it, and I'm going to call my puppy, little puppy! I'm going to have her jump up here. Now, you see how that dog, she jumped right up there willingly? All right, so now, one of the things is, you, a lot of times the puppy, you'll get them to do stuff willingly. When, like when they're in the mood for jumping or running or carrying on, they will. And uh, then, then, then when you want them to, they won't. So that's where this leash comes in. I'm going to put this leash on her. Good dog. And this gives me a little extra control 
Good. And so while she's in this willing state of mind, I go ahead and put this leash on her so that while they're young, they're, you know, they're always thinking about how the leash is a good thing. And I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to come back. Come on, hop, 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 hop. Stay. I'm going to make her wait. Now, if she doesn't sit right here, that's fine. I don't really care. Oh, I'm going to stroke her. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to ask her to jump again. Hup, hup. Good. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. And then if she waits long enough, all of a sudden I'm going to change. Ah, okay. I'm going to give her a tug. Oh, good puppy. Good puppy. And I'm going to play with her. Good. And I'm going to get her up here. I'm going to move this crate around to desensitize her to, to noises and, and unsure surfaces. I'm going to tug with her and tug with her. I'm going to play with her. Good. Good. I'm having a good time. Ah, oh, good dog. Good. Okay, guys. So I went from a half of small crate. Uh, to, uh, to a medium crate, and now I've added an extra large crate. Oh, good puppy. So let's do some work. Come on, puppy. Come on. Up, 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 up. Oh, good. Remember getting them excited this first part. Come on, come on. Oh, and then we're going to come back. Up, up, up. Oh, she thinks she's going to get her tug, but she's not. Not yet. Come on. Oh, and after a number of repetitions where you think she's starting to reach her, you know, good for her apex of enjoyment, good. Now I'm going to teach her she has to calm down even when she's excited. Stay. Now remember, it's not important that they sit right off the bat. What's important is that they calm down and they stay still. I'll get the, I'll get the posture later, the very specific posture that I want, whether it's a posture in stand or, or down or, or sit or whatever. Okay, all I'm interested in right now is that she's staying and she's waiting. Again... You're going to see me. I, I, I use the leash right here if she goes to get off. But I'm going to walk around and look at some different things because I need that dog in the habit of staying when I'm what? When I'm busy. I do not need a dog to stay when I have time to look at them. Good. Then all of a sudden my voice is going to change and, and I'm going to get really excited. I'm going to release her. Oh, okay. Come on. Good puppy. Come on. Oh, good puppy. Okay, come on. Oh, it's a good puppy. Come on. Oh, she's got my jacket. Oh, she thinks that's a big reward. Oh, these Malinois love to eat jackets. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh, it's a good girl. Now, I'm a, while I'm petting her and playing with her, good, I'm going to pull her leash off. Good girl. And I'm going to tell her she's off work. Okay. And if she wants to go play, she can. If she wants to petition me for some more work, that's ideal. You know, what she did was she left. She grabbed her little tug because it fell out of my jacket. She ran off to chew on it. That's okay, she's off work. But she's gonna be back to work here in a second, I know, because it gets boring playing by yourself. And if you're raising your dog right, they know that the way to get you to play with them is through working. So we got one more little bit of work to do. All right, if you're wondering where all this ends up, it ends up with the dog gonna get in the truck when you tell it and stay there till you tell it to do something else. Ain't that right, puppy? Come on, little puppy. Can you get in the truck for me? Come on, hop, hop. Hup, hup, oh, there's your reward. Oh, and you got to love on them and play with them. Oh, good dogs. Good dogs. Play tug with them and let them come off there. Oh, good. Now she's off work, see? Little work for Stoney, a little play for the dog. Everybody's happy every day here at Cabin Creek Kennel. See you in a little while. Okay, guys, now listen, you don't always have to pair this uh, work and play. Sometimes you can just disguise the work as play. So I got some little puppies here. They love to tug. I'm in a hurry. I got to get down to the river to do some retriever work. And so we're just going to disguise this work as play. Come on, little puppy. Oh, come on, get your tug. Come on, see if you can get in the truck. Can you get in the truck? Oh, they get in the truck, and I'm going to tug with them and play with them. Oh, good, 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 good. And I'm going to take this tug away. Oh, and it's going to get away. Oh, my gosh. And it's going to get back up here. Oh, oh, and here they go, all three of them. Whoa. I got puppies everywhere. It's puppy mania. It's puppy mania. And they're doing work, and they don't even realize that they're doing any work and they're just fighting over who gets to do the most work and it's loads of fun. Woo! Woo hoo! Come on, babies! Come on! Go, 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 babies! Oh, looky there! Ah, good dogs! Good dogs! And then I let them off work. They don't even know they're off work because they're having such a good time. Ah, that's what good dog training looks like right there. So I'm off to the river. I'll see y'all next week.